Today's guest has been in music ministry for over 40 years. He is the author of a brand new book called Shape Notes and a brand new CD called Disturb Us Lord. Grammy award winning singer Larnell Harris is our guest today here on Babby's House. Stay tuned for Babby's House coming to you right now. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Babby's House. I'm your host, Babby Mason. Thank you so very much for watching Babby's House today. I'm so honored to have on the show today none other than Larnell Harris. Larnell Harris is a multi-award winning singer. He's won Grammy Awards and Stellar Awards and Dove Awards, as well as being inducted into the Gospel Music Hall of Fame. He is also the author of a brand new book called Shape Notes and a brand new CD called Disturb Us Lord. After 40 years, he is still about the father's business. And we'll talk uh, uh, with Larnell Harris and hear him sing uh, some brand new music from his uh, latest CD. We'll talk with Larno Harris in just a little bit, but I want to kick the show off with one of my favorite songs. It's called Love Like That. What would it mean to that single mom to get some money in the mail? Or pay a visit to Mr. Jones, whose health has begun to fail? Just to shine a little light Tell them it will be all right And what about that lonely child Who's never had enough Got a kind and encouraging word For that girl who's given up Oh, what a difference it would make to bless somebody's day Teach me to love like that Tell me what to say to help my neighbor Teach me to love like that Show me what to do to make things better Maybe it's to feel a need Or plant a seed Or give where there is lack I want to be like you, Lord Teach me to love like that Maybe it's delivering a pretty bouquet to that lonely little lady Or paying a bill for an out of work dad who wonders if you'll make it just to hear somebody out Relieve them of some fear and doubt Surprise by taking him to lunch Or maybe it's to babysit For that mom under a time crunch Oh, you just never know How you can touch some weary soul Teach me to love like that but Tell me what to say to help my neighbor Teach me to love like that Show me what to do to make Maybe it's to feel a need Or plant a seed Or give where there is lack I wanna be like you, Lord Teach me to love like that I don't just wanna feel a need But I wanna be there Let me be the answer to some Teach me to love like that. Teach me to love like that. Maybe I can feel a need, or maybe I can plant a seed, or give where there is a lack. I wanna be like you, Lord. Teach me to love like that, Jesus. I just. 
Welcome back to Babby's House. I'm so honored to have on the stage with me today Lionel Harris. And Lionel is one of those people who ha has literally impacted uh, a whole generation of Christians with his beautiful music. And I am one of those people. And I want you to help me to welcome to Babby's House Lionel Harris. <laughs> Lionel, I have to say thank you, my friend. Oh, what a pleasure to be here. Thank you for your <laughs> impact. I have to say, um, when I was coming, when I was first beginning to sing uh, back in the 80s and looking for music, this was really before I started writing songs and looking for soundtracks that, that were in my range, uh, being a low alto, <laughs> I would sing your tracks, your, your songs. Because you were a, you were a, you were a high a tenor. Low, I'm, a high, I'm a high tenor, <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. I used to sing tenor in the <laughs> choir. And so I would gravitate to your tracks and, and Steve Green tracks and things like that. And then later on, when I started getting my uh, feet wet as a songwriter, and began oh, to write man. songs, and I wrote a song with my good friend Donna Douglas called All in Favor, and then Donna and I wrote another song called King Jesus is His Name, a Christmas song, and Lionel Harris, y'all, let me just say this, Lionel Harris recorded two of my songs. And I'm still doing them. I do them every time I get a chance. <laughs> Honey, help yourself. <laughs> Even when it's not Christmas, okay? <laughs> right. And, but thank you, mm -hmm. thank you so very much mm -hmm. for singing uh, songs that exalt the name of Christ for uh, maintaining a reputation mm -hmm. of being someone who who never compromises in what it is you have to say, and we, we appreciate that. Well, I cannot. You know what? Um, when I started uh, uh, learning this process through some friends of mine in Nashville, uh, one of the things I did not have to learn is that it must be sounds from a scriptural point of view. Yes. It must say something. It must uh, be uh, good poetry, as you know. It must lead. You hear it. You hear a lyric, and it says one thing to you. I hear it. It says totally something else to me. Both are valid. Yes. And what a wonderful opportunity we have to, 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 to look and find just the right phrases yes. to put with just the right music. Like that song you sang at the beginning of the show. Yes. Thank I mean, you. Th those are impactful lyrics. Yes. And uh, uh, what a privilege to be just a part of of, of, of doing that. Well, you know. As as a singer, I would I would actually look to other writers and uh, to model. You yes. know, I, I use them as a model, sure. and I used you as an example of someone to, to, who you were you were a light for me and for so many other mm -hmm. artists. And you showed us really, and you continue to show us what it looks like to be an artist who loves the Lord without Thank compromise. You. And you have a brand new book. Congratulations on your book called Thank Shape you. Notes. It's a number one bestseller already, and it's a powerful story of your life. So. How is it that you decided that it was now the time to tell your story? You know, I saw in a magazine one time, I was just kind of leafing through, and I saw a picture of a turtle on a fence post. And I just kind of, what you're doing right now, I just kind of laughed at that, and I just kept going. And, and then a few, few months later, uh, as I uh, made trips, I live 80 miles from where I was born. So I get back there often. I still got aunts and cousins and all that kind of stuff. And every time I would drive the 80 miles back to Louisville, there was another story. There was something else. And then I saw that picture again, the frog on a fence post. The frog, the, the, uh, of the turtle on the fence post. The, the, the turtle didn't get up there by itself. You know, very little is done on our own. All right. And I started going back and thinking about Mr. Summers and Miss Margaret, Miss Georgie, Macaulay Arthur, Gaither, Sandy, and all of these people who over time 
God had put into my life. And each one of them brought a little piece, um, a little piece uh, that didn't want, uh, uh, you know, like a mentor. They didn't want anything. They just, they just loved me and, and wanted to speak into my heart. There, there, there was an, uh, uh, a librarian. She was 90 years old. Mm. And, and I, got to meet, I got to see her again before she passed away. Wow. At a nursing home there in Danville. And I walked into the room. And she looked up and she said, there's nobody I'd rather see. Oh, at 90 years at of age. At 90 years of age. And you know what? She lived... Probably uh, a few doors down from my dad when he was grow when he's growing up. I thought she was so smart. She's from California somewhere. You know how. They, the, but she was from right there. She was from backyard. right there. She knew my background. She knew everything. And and at various times during the school year, during during those school years, she would she would say things to me. And you know it, it's like Mary. I just kind of hide that away because a lot yes. of it I didn't get. But uh, what a wonderful opportunity it was to see her. And this is about saying two little words to those people back there. Thank you. Thank you. you. Amen. Thank you. So, and, we, and we're so glad you said mm -hmm. thank you. You know, speaking of thank you, thank you to, uh, for the music that you and Sandy have introduced to, oh, to yes. Christian music. Uh, the songs that you all have deposited into Christian music are now iconic. I mean, they are standards. Their standards in Christian music. How did the how did the duets, the Lionel Harris and Sandy Petty <laughs> duet idea come about? You know, Don Marsh uh, was producing a Christmas album, and um, Lanny Wolf had written a song called "More Than Wonderful." Wow! They, they had recorded it as a solo. And so uh, he, he called Sandy because when he called me, he said, "I've talked to Sandy." And uh, we have a song we think will work as a duet. Would you like to try this with Sandy? Well, I said, you know what? I, I, I got to pray about that. And I said, on the phone, good Lord, yes. <laughs> let's, go, let's do that. Let's do that today. You yes. know? And, uh, and, and so we went into the studio and, it, it, and, and it, our schedules, we couldn't get together to do it. So I got in the studio with another soprano and we worked out all the parts. I, I like to tell people when we do this in concert, you know, she sang it, but I did all the work. I mean, I put it all together. <laughs> <laughs> so so we, got, we worked out the parts. We've, we, I recorded my part. She came and recorded hers. Well, it was months later. I'm I'm in a, I'm in a uh, uh, airport in St. Louis, and uh. somebody says, "Man, I love that duet." And it had been so long. I'm going, what duet? Yes. Okay. So finally, I, I figured out what was going on, and then we asked uh, at Bill Gaither's praise gathering. He asked us to do that. Uh. We ran upstairs somewhere and <laughs> to rehearse, to rehearse <laughs> try to figure this thing out. Because you never sung it before. Never. never had done it together. And we, we, we did that, went downstairs, got on that stage, was in the round with folks, 10,000 people all the way around, and it was in the round. We started to sing it, and, and about halfway through, everybody's on their feet. Mm. Now, I, I, that's all I remember. Yes, you remember <laughs> that it was a moment. That is all I remember. It was yes. a moment. And we sang that, and, and uh, you know, it's been a wonderful thing for us. I'm, th I'm so thankful that God used us to bring that into the world. Yes, yeah. we're almost out of time for yeah. our interview, but we're going to hear you sing in just a moment. But before we do, recently, uh, just a few days ago, uh, Billy Graham passed away, and yeah. I know that you were involved in Billy Graham Crusades. Yeah. Tell me what his ministry and his life and legacy mean to you. You know what? Just uh, the epitome of, of credibility. Yes. Uh, and I would see him come on stage, and I'm just a guest. You know, I, we're not bosom buddies. Or we're not. Uh, uh, but uh, I would see him come on stage, and everybody would be applauding, of course, when he hit the platform. And I don't know if he knew it or not, but he would start to applaud mm. as though he's trying to, trying to figure out who they're applauding for. Yes. What an honorable man. What an man. honorable man. And yes. what a privilege it was for me to be with, with he and Cliff. And yes. Bev Shea. Well, and, mm -hmm. and likewise, it, it was an honor to serve in that, uh, in that ministry in any capacity. Yes. But to be able to sing on those stages is just uh, very memorable. Yeah. And I know you were involved in those. You also have a brand new CD called Disturb Us, Lord, and we're almost out of time in our, in our uh, 
interview, but thank you for uh, recording this. How many CDs does this make for you? I don't know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What are you going to sing for us today? Well, there's a, 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 one of the songs that we're going to do is, is the title song of that. It's called Disturb Us, Lord. And then another one that is, I, I believe is also on there is called uh, he, 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 A Change in Me. Mm. Well, I hope everybody can look back and remember the, the time when Christ came into your heart yes. and just changed, just changed everything. everything about it. Yeah. Thank you, Larnell, for being on Babby's House today, my friend, and honor to have you here. Thank you. You're going to sing for us in just a moment. So stick around, everyone. Larnell Harris is going to sing. Call your friends and tell them Larnell is getting ready to sing. We'll be right back after this. What a joy and privilege it is to have Lionel Harris on Babby's house today. He's got a brand new book called Shape Notes and a great CD called Disturb Us Lord. He's going to sing some songs from his brand new CD now for us. Will you help me to welcome back to Babby's house, Larnell Harris. Without knowing that I even had a need But the Father revealed a love that broke my heart Through a cross that broke the chains and set me free But by His grace and mighty power I'm getting stronger by the hour All because His love lifted me There's been a change in me No matter what more can I say
disturb us, O oh Lord, when worldly things delight us and we fail to look above, when we withhold from others, though we've been given much, if the fire of our first love's not burning bright, Spend time on our knees when we have a chance, but we don't speak the truth that sets men free. If we don't worship you with fiery passion anymore, disturb us. the lives of those still in the dark. If we don't live with hearts that break, with things that break your heart, in tenderness, please lead your church back to your heart once more. Disturb us, Lord, if we Disturb us, Lord. Disturb us, Lord. Right now, thank you for being on the show today, my friend. Always an honor to have you. It's been a joy. Amen. We love your ministry forever, and, and we continue to pray for you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, my friend, for watching Babby Sauce. I know you've enjoyed today's show, and I know you've been blessed by the ministry of Larnell Harris. Will you do us a favor? You can reach out to Larnell at Larnell.com. You can reach out to me at Babby.com. And while you're on my website, check out Babby Mason Radio, our internet radio station, where you'll hear be beautiful music and encouraging words around the clock. And of course, you'll hear the beautiful music of Larnell Harris as well. And listen, while you're there, uh, check out uh, the conference that we host for uh, independent singers and songwriters as well as self-published authors. The name of the conference is called The Inner Circle and there we mentor, teach and train uh, upcoming singers and songwriters and give them tools for success, tools for ministry to stir up their gifts according to God's word and we hope that you'll check that out at babby.com. Well listen, it's always our joy to know that you're watching on today's show. It's our aim uh, to connect you with the things of God. We want to encourage you from God's word and have guests like Lionel Harris who can speak into your life and encourage you to fall more deeply in love with the Lord. So listen, let me just in, uh, uh, encourage you to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge the Lord and he will direct your path. Until next time, God bless you real good. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>